These health towels are made using simple tools. Oya, oh yeah, a wooden comb with three teeth that come in various sizes. Local air cream traditionally used for braided towels. And a plastic plated thread used for variation of both braiding and weaving. This is a documentary that I will link down below. You see how little product that woman used to, and she can create all of these amazing hairstyles. Like it's actually amazing. And this woman is in the market in Lagos, Nigeria, and she used one cream. And I'm suspecting that might be shea butter, but I don't actually know. But yeah, just use what you have. If you're uh, African, you probably have some shea butter lying around. That's what they used to use back, back, back in the day. And them hairstyles were popping and very protective. And people had really, really long hair. And if you don't have that, hydration is key. Spray Spritzing some water in there is one of the best things to do. If you don't have one of those spritz bottles, don't worry. You don't necessarily have to go and get one. When you're having a shower, you can quickly, like, just headbutt the stream of water coming from the shower head and just make your hair damp that way. And then just put a little bit of oil. Maybe you have jojoba oil. Maybe you have shea butter walking about somewhere. Maybe you have olive oil. Any kind of oil you have, just use it if you're running out of your natural hair products. But olive oil is the easiest to find. And I know there's a lot of videos out there talking about for this hair, this oil is good. And for this hair, this oil is good. But let me tell you, back, back, back in the day, people did not care about that and they just used anything. So I'm just trending you to either I'm showing you how to ration your, your product. It doesn't need to be so much that you can see it seeping through your twist or through your braids or through the hairstyle or that it would mess up your pillow as long as it's enough to make the hair feel moisturized. But water, putting water first will for sure help in that process. Be creative. Like After all this crisis is over, you're going to be so happy that you found new ways of living. You're going to be so happy that you can be self-sufficient, that you don't always need to rely on other people to do things, but you can rely on yourself. As I'm doing my hair, I'm not using too, too, too much product. I'm just using what's enough. And don't forget that some of the product is on your hands. So you can just do that. And that by the end of it, you feel like you have so much product. So yeah, you guys, don't stress, do not fret. Be self-sufficient in this time. That's not to say that after all this is over, don't go to the nail salon, don't go to the hair salon, don't go to the lash salon and all these places. But be very self-sufficient and know what you can do. Know the power that you have because you are powerful, you are strong, you are capable of doing some of these things. You are capable of looking after yourself you're capable of loving yourself you're capable of learning about yourself and your hair and your body and your skin and figuring out what it likes and what it doesn't like and what it do and what it don't do so yeah that's it remember to make time for glorious life it's time to start what living it right and i'll see you in the next video which is going to be very soon stay safe and stay sterile and stay away from people bye mm -hmm.